Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. So guys, I went to my local pet shop yesterday and bought a box of black crickets and a tub full of superworms. But um, I'm going to be feeding some of my scorpions today using these black crickets. But before I do that, I've just noticed that this tub is a little bit dirty. So I've decided to get a cleaner tub and put some uh, bug grub in the bottom of the container and put a nice fresh piece of egg crate in there. So I've put a few crickets in there. I like to look after my live food. So um, let's get the rest of these crickets and uh, put them into the new container. So guys, there you go. Most of the crickets have uh, been put in the new tub. And I've got still got a few left. I've just been picking them out using my small tongs. That's that one done. Let's just put that over there. And let's just tip this piece of egg crate over. Uh, that one's dead. They do, die, they do die very, very quickly. So we can take these out now and um, start picking these ones here. So we'll just throw that smelly thing in the bin. So we don't need that no more. So here are some of the black crickets. And these only cost me uh, two pound and ten pence, so not overly expensive. I thought that's a fairly, fairly good deal, to be honest. So I should these should be done in the next five minutes or so. So guys, I've only got a couple left. So there's one just there. Let's just put that one in, and the last one. If I can get it. No, you don't want to... Oh, you come here, you little shit. <laughs> there we go. And there's the last one. All done. So, guys, with that safely done, the last part to do now is to just open my cabinet and get the bug grub, put it back into my cabinet here. And I've got this tub here, which is bug gel. Now, please don't use this for uh, tarantulas. It's no good for tarantulas. They can't consume it whatsoever. It's only good for crickets, large wing locust, uh, hoppers, uh, superworms or Mario worms, whatever you want to call them. So, yeah, I like to keep my live food hydrated. So, this is uh, the perfect stuff to use. So, guys, I'm just going to put a little bit of bug gel in there. And hopefully the crickets... Should start eating it straight away. There we go, that should be enough. And there we go, guys. After about 20 seconds, one of the crickets has moved over to the bug gel. And it's starting to eat it now to get hydrated. So, perfect uh, product to use for your live food. So, with that tub safely done, let's feed some scorpions. So guys, the first scorpion I'm going to feed is my Parabuthus velocis orange morph female. Now I fed her a superworm last week, so she might not be hungry, but there's only one way to find out. She doesn't look that interested at the moment. But I did say she might not be hungry. No. Let's try one last time. No, she's not interested, I'm afraid, guys. So let's go on to the next one. Next up, guys, is my Lyrius Nagerie. Right. Giving a little bit of a threat display there. Oh, my God. Another scorpion that's not hungry. <laughs> so let's just try one last time, guys. No? So let's go on to the next one. So guys, next up is my male Parabuthus Velocis Orange Morph. Now, he has a really high appetite, so if he doesn't eat, then I'll be very surprised. So here goes. There we go. A couple of stings there, guys. Like I said, he's... Uh, He's always hungry. Let's just try and get a bit closer. There we go. It's 
So guys, there you go. Within a couple of minutes, the cricket's nearly dead already. And you can see the scorpion eating its food. Very fascinating to see. Completely different from tarantulas. And I do eat very, very slowly. This could take him at least 12 to 15 hours to finish off this meal. When I fed him last week, that superworm, I woke up the next morning and he was still eating it. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'll leave him alone now. So let's go on to the next one. So guys, next up is my Antrodotinus crassic order. She has just come out of her hide and started walking around, so let's see if she's hungry. No, she isn't. Wow, that's a, a little bit of a surprise, guys. Let's just try her again. No, she's not interested, so let's go on to the next one. So, guys, next up is my hot and totter Franz Wernery. Hopefully, get attacked yet. There we go. Unfortunately, won't be able to see much else guys because it's inside its hide so let's go on to the next one next up guys is my very pissed off israeli large clawed scorpion here goes probably because I, I took its uh hide out of the way i can't get my words out today guys i do apologize there we go, took a little bit of time, but uh, we got there in the end. Beautiful little scorpion, not very big, I'd say two and a half inches at most. Looks like very, very defensive. <laughs> so guys, it looks like the scorpion has got its under control now and it's starting to eat its meal took around about five to ten minutes it was just sitting there so i just waited for the scorpion to start eating its prey and uh, i think i'll leave it alone now guys so let's go on to the next one so guys last but not least this is my antrodotinus louis villi now if you're wondering why i've been using my tongues through this video it's just a lot easier to determine where the scorpion's going to attack so obviously it's going to attack where the tongues are so it's just a lot easier for me and for my viewers to see the best possible footage so here goes oh that was a great attack guys Beautiful little scorpion, very, very small, uh, probably about an inch. It does look a lot bigger on uh, camera, but I promise you it's only very, very small. I can't wait for this one to get uh, bigger. It doesn't eat very much, to be fair. It hasn't got the biggest uh, appetite in the world. But you can see that beautiful tail. So hopefully it should sting its meal again and it should start eating very soon. So guys, I've left it for about 10 minutes or so, and it's only stung the cricket once, and you can see the cricket is nearly dead, it's just moving its legs a little bit, but it looks like the scorpion has started to eat now, unfortunately I can't zoom any more than that, I do apologise, so I think I'll leave this scorpion now to eat its meal, so I hope you enjoyed this video ladies and gentlemen, and thanks for watching everyone.